Hi, I'm Jody. Hello, I'm Lisa. Hi, I'm Kim. The reason we're here is to let you know about the BCVRS Committee's viewpoint on CAD's initiative to do a cross-country rally at CRTC offices. We really support them in their idea, but we want to give you a background and to give you a little explanation on our timelines on what we've been doing in the last year, 2012. Once you see that, you'll understand our view. Altogether, approximately 650 people from across Canada rallied in different provinces at the CRTC offices on January 13th. So altogether, there were 5,150 petitions that were collected and sent to the CRTC on February the 15th. Bell provided its feasibility study, an 850-page report, to the CRTC on February 24th. Two weeks later, TELUS provides a 25-page report to the CRTC on its BRS trial. That was on March 14th. So both reports were submitted to the CRTC for review and analysis. CRTC sends questions to Bell and TELUS, and they also include Sorensen on May 25th. On June 22, 2012, Bell asked the CRTC for an extension to submit their report. They were approved to submit it in July. Bell submitted their report on July the 26th. The CRTC currently has both reports that are submitted online as of August the 1st. The next step is for the CRTC to review and consider whether or not VRS services will be offered. You should be aware if CRT isn't satisfied with the responses they receive from the companies, they can ask them more questions. It really does depend on whether the CRT is satisfied with the responses. Or the CRTC could call a VRS trial in which we would meet to discuss whether or not VRS services would be offered in Canada. If you go to the link on the CRT website and scroll down, you're going to see as you read that the CRTC is aware that deaf people all across Canada really want video relay services. The CRTC has been progressing with this and however it is lengthy, it's not something that we can rush, we have to follow the process. The BCVRS Committee supports the CRTC and their process, their questioning, their support. And we appreciate all their updates so that we can provide information to the deaf community. At the same time, CAD wanted to do a rally across the country. And we support their idea, but we really wanted to influence them to make it more of a positive experience a VRS Awareness Day, shifting the focus from a rally to information sharing to raising awareness on the issue across the country and to show our appreciation and gratitude for all of the community support. Remember, we have to recognize the CRTC. They did listen to us. They did their investigation. They've done analysis and they've provided accommodations for things we need. For example, Closed captioning, the TTY, text relay services. As well, the CRTC has been committed and has proven that they have worked through the process. So we, as the community, 
should be thankful and express our gratitude to the CRTC for listening to our concerns. They are truly trying to accommodate us. Now is the time to put pressure on the CRTC to say yes to BRS services in Canada now. Now. Not later, but now. We want to continue to lobby to spread positive energy to CRTC and to say thank you and to pressure them to say yes to VRS services in Canada now. We will ask the CRTC to ensure that the deaf communities across Canada are involved in the establishment of a video relay service. As stakeholders, we will continue to liaise with the CRTC ensuring our inclusion and that as members of the deaf community, we participate as watchdogs for the VRS. This is not the time to be protesting across the country while CRTC is making their decision. Not now. Now is the time for gratitude. For being positive. For belief in... Solidarity! solidarity.